Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, it is the full month of April 2022. Love and general situationship tarot reading session for you, Scorpio, okay? Before I start, Scorpio, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading for today, it is for you, Scorpio. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you. This is for the month of April 2022. This is a general collective reading for Scorpio. And also, Scorpio, if you would like to further connect with me, I invite you to also be part of my... Um, be part of our mailing list or newsletter. We send out new moon, full moon, and bonus reading. So if you want to receive the mailing list, be, you know, sorry, be part of our mailing list. The link is down in the description box below, okay? So let us see what's coming towards you for the month of April. What is the message for Scorpio? Hmm. Okay. All right, Scorpio. And then let's pull... Three cards for your overall energy for the month of April. I've got another channel, Scorpio. The name of the channel is Scorpio Morning Star. So if you would like to pick up more intuitive message, please also follow me there. It's a YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, but for Scorpio. Okay. All right, Scorpio, here you go. What is the overall energy for Scorpio? You've got the four of wands, stability. You've got the two of swords. I'll get four cards for you because I'm feeling like giving you four. You've got a queen of swords. Wow, page of swords. Um... I feel like, Scorpio, you're going to really enjoy the month of April, okay? There is a lot of reunion, okay? There's a lot of reunion and reconciliation energy coming in here with the Four of Wands. Um, I feel like this Four of Wands, this is you opening your doors or things will start to pick up with you again, Scorpio. I really feel like four of wands in general, friends, family, even love. I'm picking up a lot of love opportunity in here. You're kind of signaling the universe that, hey, I'm ready, you know. Um, very playful. So I'm picking up reconciliation and reunion. So lots of friends also will connect to you. Those ones that you haven't, you know, um, touched base. For quite some time now, I'm seeing reunion. A lot of good stuff in terms of social activity. Now, you've got here the Two of Swords. You've got the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. For some of you, this is Two of Swords. And this is the Page of Swords. And you've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. So there is a battle, Scorpio. You're hesitant to fight the Queen of Swords. Because she is the queen of swords. But you're going to give it a shot. Look at that, the page of swords. So there is something in the month of April where it's like a David and Goliath um, thingy. Um, it's a situation in April where it's like a David and Goliath, um, you know, situation. But you're going to give it a fight. You're going to give it a shot. You know, you're going to give it a... You're going to try, but not, not just try, but you're going to give it your best. You're going to fight the Queen of Swords in here. Let's see. It's very intriguing because I'm just a Page of Swords. You are a Queen of Swords, but I'm going to fight you. You know? And, ooh. And you have the Four of Swords. This is really interesting. So, there's going to be a situation in the month of April where... You're involved in there and you're going to fight it off, okay? You are going to have a face-off with the Queen of Swords. Could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be something legal. But you're willing to face this Queen of Swords. 
you did. And the outcome is the Four of Swords, okay? I feel like the Queen of Swords, they were able to trap you, you know? This is Four of Wands. The Queen of Swords, they were able to trap you. Like, they will, like, uh, they will able, they will able, they they were able to, whoever this is, whatever situation it is, it seems to be, it has caught you in the act or caught up with you. The thing with the Four of Swords is that, you know, this is, it really intrigues me, the birth, because birth is like a messenger to me. And you've got the Four of Wands, so it's kind of, if you give up, you won't win. Thingy. Because there's a three of swords at the back. So it means that the queen of swords, they this is two swords and another sword. So this is three. And you were trapped. And there's a three of swords in the back. So it's kind of telling me that this queen of swords, the one that you're fighting off, the one that you want to win, even though you're tiny, or even though you have, you only have a page. But the amount of courage and braveness that you have is you know, big enough that you have intimidate, intimidate the Queen of Swords, you know? Like the Queen of Swords in here, I mean, logically, you won't win because she is a queen. But you being the Page of Swords, you were able to intimidate this Queen of Swords. Now, it seems to be the Queen of Swords trap you, but you have made the Queen of Swords weak. You know, you might have not won the battle, not yet, it's not yet done, but you have intimidated this person. There's a situation, it's big, okay, it's a big situation. You're trying to really shake this up, the situation. You don't have all of the resources, probably, or something tells me that it's like a David and Goliath fight, but you want to intimidate it, you know, and maybe by intimidating it, you will might not have the resources, but your courage could really intimidate this person and, sh you know, like, um, what do you call that? Like, yeah, scare them away. No, like a scarecrow, not real. I mean, you're, it's it, in here, what I pick up is that, yeah, you might not have the right resources or time, but you've got the smartness. You've got, you've got something, you've got something that, um, You've got something within you that you can win over the Queen of Swords. Let's see. One card and we'll move to the reading. Okay, two cards. Okay. Really interesting. It could be a relationship in here. Or it could be something legal. It could be legal. I feel like you're trapped. Or someone is trapped and it's connected to you. And they're trying to get out. And it's difficult to fight off. But you can intimidate. So if you intimidate, you will distract them. And you can get out of this, uh, you know, four of swords. Something tells me that there's going to be a situation in April where you can't win it by fighting it in a regular way. You know, there's a back door, you know. Yes, five of wands and then you've got the judgment card. Yeah. Something tells me if you want to, you know, to win over the, the king, the, sorry, the queen of swords, it's not by the swords, okay? It's not the logical. It's the passion, okay? It's the passion. So it could be like a situation where this person is so logical. Maybe you're in, imagine Scorpio, you are in competition, okay? And you're competing with someone who is very very intelligent but they're boring so you you're smart not so intelligent but you're not boring so you're gonna win it in personality you know so there's something in there that you will win over this but not taking it seriously you know by being passionate you haven't like it's it's a reading where you won't win this upfront fight this is big you know, you've got to find a weakness of the situation and get into the back door. You know, it's also like a, it's it's a feeling where it's a position in the company 
where no matter how smart you are, how good you are, you will never be picked by someone in the company because of favoritism. So you play the game, you know, be the favorite, you know, um, do the buttering up to be the favorite, something of that. Um, I think by by end of April, you will know how to dance with this person or situation because it's a developing story. But if in case you feel trapped and you are like in a David Goliath situation in April month, remember to, if you can't beat them, join them. Use their strategy and something think out of the box. That's what I'm picking up with that. Anyway, so let's go to specific Scorpio. Okay, so... You've got the three of pentacles in here. You've got the three of pentacles in the star card. I feel like for some of you, you stop manifesting somebody, okay? Or a dream or a job or something that's really close to your heart. You stop it, okay? Yeah, king of cups. It's It could be you have fully, um, you know, you have fully, you fully stop. You fully stop this um, this person, connecting to this person. I feel like it's love, but it's someone close to your heart. I already told you. So you stop manifesting them. Full stop calling, texting, manifesting them. You really avoid to think about this person. Okay? It's a romantic energy. Now, the person that you are, you stop manifesting them. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aquarius. But they never stop manifesting you. Mm. It's a reversal. Look at that. Page of Wands. The High Priestess. This is the energy of the person connected to you. You stop manifesting them. Thinking about them. For some of you, you even avoided. Um, avoided the conversation. You even avoided. You know. You even avoided places where you normally go. Or where you normally see this person. It's a romantic situation. You avoided thinking about them. Like you drop. You switch off. Now, this person did not. They've been probably quiet, the high priestess. But they've got some good news to you, page of wands. Let's see. This person is very excited to connect with you. So, they've got the eight of swords judgment card. Okay. Um, I feel like page of wands high priestess. They're very excited to connect with you. They're not over with you, but they're scared you might reject them. They've got some good news. Yeah, look at that Ace of Swords. Okay, I'll get three cards. Like, it, it might be that, you know, it's been a while since the last time you connected with this person and now they really want to bring back how things was in the past and they don't like they forgot how to connect with you they've got some good news okay yeah nine of wands nine of swords and the five of pentacles and this one and this card wanted to come out yeah they've got some good news to you I think about work. I think for some of you, Scorpio, after such a long time of, like, they might leave somebody to, to join to you, but it might be too late, something like that. They're scared that if they tell you, okay, I've left this job to join where you are, or I've left this, you know, relationship to connect with you again, they're scared that you might not accept them. Yeah, look at that. King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They finally, they finally manage it, Scorpio, but they're not sure if you are going to accept them. Well, you will. <laughs> yeah. So, ooh. You might see them. I feel like the minute you talk with this person... Yeah, so I feel like this person was able to dispose the huge block that is preventing you and this person to be together, 
okay? The thing is, they're scared that if they tell it to you, you won't be available for them. I feel like it's happening right now. So, they will have a conversation with you and I think they will say, they'll, they'll call you, they'll text you. They want to see you personally face to face, yeah. Like to give your, to get your fresh reaction, they would like to like, they would like to see FaceTime or video call. This is heavy. This is heavy. I feel like it's more of the end of April going to May. Because I feel like for them, for like, it would be at least, you know, six, six to eight weeks. Like I'm, I'm picking up six to eight weeks of, you know, blur, no comms or really inconsistent communication at least a minimum of you know three to six weeks of really really confusing time between the between the two of you and you decided to just shut down and full stop and while you guys don't talk this person is working behind the scene and i think they're not doing that 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 thing they're not doing it for you scorpio they're doing it from themselves for for themselves so don't ever think that, okay, they separated this relationship or they, you know, they clear up something about their life and they're doing it for you. They're doing it because they're not happy with that. And like, it's, it's a bonus that, okay, I've done, I've done my homework, Scorpio. I did it for myself because I wasn't happy with a codependent relationship or I wasn't happy with this job or this place or this location. Just wanting to let you know. So they did it because they were not happy with that. And it's an additional bonus that that is sorted. Now I can really focus on you. So that's the kind of vibe I'm getting with your person. Like, hey, Scorpio, I managed to, you know, to do my homework. They're kind of FYI like fyi scorpio i'm now single or i'm now living here or i'm this and it kind of signals you that okay you have a potential you know indirectly but the the vibe i'm getting in here in, intuitively is it's to stress out that they 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 really did it for yeah for for their own happiness and you could really, you, you don't have any karma. If, if if you connect, you don't have any karma. Because it was really a meant to be situation probably. But it's good. The turnout is good. I'm really picking up that you can really start all over again. Because when you hear the news, like this is Ten of Pentacles. Like this is gold kind of thing. Yeah. It's still a developing story. I feel like it's very new. Like right now, you don't have any idea that they're, they're still going to do it, do this. Sorry. And sorry, Scorpio, it's raining outside. So right now, you don't have any idea that they will do, they will still do this. Like you, you, the reason why you gave up with them and shut them, it's because you're not getting, you know, update or you're not, you don't feel like they will secure something for you. So you totally given up with this person and they were still looking, they were still working in the background. Yeah good on them they were able to you know get themselves get themselves out of a codependency or unhappy location they were in a, they were you know five of cups this person is a very is sitting in a very unhappy life and they managed to fix it so yeah soon scorpio soon now um Okay, so, wow, this is a returning story. Like, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. You're also scared to connect with this person because it might hurt you. Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. And then, Wheel of Fortune, no, Scorpio. You've got to trust me. King of Wands, we need to build, you know, you. we need to build. Like, this person is like, no, I've, I've already done, you know, Wheel of Fortune. I've done... A lot of cleaning up i've done a lot of thinking king of wands in reverse you know like i really need you to be my queen or king of wands we like i'm kind of tired but i want you to know that i'm 
almost free from the residual effect of this. You know, they're kind of convincing you. And then you've got here the Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. And I'm gonna, I think you will give it a try. Because there's so many evidence that they will prove to you that, you know, I'm free. You know, there's so many circumstantial evidence they will show to you that, you know, circumstance is, done, is gone and done. And I'm really free. This is big. Um, yeah. And then look at that. The Knight of Cups, the, the, the Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands. It's, it was they'll push through they will really insist to give this person will insist that you give me a chance you give me you know because mm. it like empress card yeah six of swords coming back two of wands i feel like you're hesitant to connect because of three of swords i think you will try like your your mind is telling you try and try but your action is so limited like i'm seeing you yeah i want to do it i want to try but you reply with them very vague and this person is like king of wands come on scorpio come on like you know be interactive because they're kind of losing hope that you really would take them back because you're reply you're replying but it's vague like i really pick up that you're tr you're you want to try but you're also hurt and then knight of cups ten of wands like they will really push to offer you love and to make you scorpio trust them again yeah i'm also picking up that this could be a very like a very close ally that betrayed you there's a betrayal in here three of swords because you're so hesitant like you want it and you don't want it at the same time uh, that's the intensity of the betrayal of this person yeah queen of swords at some point this person made you I really break your heart or it made you not believe with love yeah they give you so much love they also take it back like they give you so much love and they also take everything that they gave you and this could if it's if it's not love it's it's a person who also is like a very special close you know ally to you and they give you a lot but they also take it back that's why you're scared to connect with this person they build you up and they also break you. Something like that. But they will insist. So yeah, I I, I kind of feel you're defensive. You want it, you know, like mentally. Yes, I want it because you feel like they're really telling you the truth. But emotionally, I'm still kind of weak. So your, your reaction, your reply is very vague. Which is, you know, they need to earn your trust. You know, they need to earn your trust. They need to earn your respect. They need to earn your love again. You know, Knight of Cups and Ten of Wands. You're going to push to earn it back. They build you up. They break you. And then now they're trying to rebuild it. But this time around, you're a different Scorpio. So they have to use all of their strength and passion. Twice the force they need for you to accept this ace of sorry the knight of cups yeah let's see it's 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 a developing story scorpio probably the highlight of your year and this is what i have for you scorpio thank you so much and a really interesting reading i will see you soon again guys and don't forget to check out the setting manifestation candle there is three merchandise in the website that we're offering free three card reading so if you want to try it comes free for every purchase of the new moon or self-love uh, manifestation candle. The details is in the website. I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.